Hey everyone, I'm Rushlock, and this is Idle Champions, and I wanted to take a brief moment to kind of make a guide for the uh, monetization system for the game. So, up here you have a starter pack button you can look at. Uh, these are also the same DLCs that are available on the Steam page as well. Uh, you have starter packs for various characters. Uh, they scale up $10, $20, and $30 a piece. Uh, personally, uh, let's take a look at the first one here. You get a piece of gear for every slot of that character, uh, one epic, and then several rares. You also get a five stack of chests, which are RNG chests. They are gold. So they are the better chests. Um, what makes them better than silver is simply they have a higher loot table, it seems. They have a chance or a higher chance to drop epics. Um, this will come down to what kind of consumer or customer you are. I personally value 10 bucks worth getting all the gear slots up to a higher quality for Bruner, especially if you're newer at the game and you haven't been playing for very long. This is a huge spike in power um, if you want to accelerate your progression. Uh, as you go to the next one, we'll see Celeste, the cleric, uh, hers is a $20 pack, so it's twice as much, you get twice as many chests, and you get the same, you know, epic and then a full set of blue gear as well. So I guess if you have like a very, like a certain specific favorite character of the three, uh, the price points are, are really relevant. Um, you can see with the third one here, it's, it's up another $10, so it's $30 for 20 chests. Um, I think they even doubled, yeah, they double each time, so going from 10 to 20 to 30, you are getting more chests for your dollar. So it is more efficient if you're just chasing the, the RNG chests. Uh, but personally, I, I the type of consumer I am, I don't like chasing RNG chests. I perceive the value on the gear. So all I see is a $10, $20, $30 scaling system of, of buying the same gear for each character. So I would go with the Bruner pack and just get the five extra chests. And I view these as bonus as, as I'm, you know, I'm spending 10 bucks to get the, the guaranteed loot right here. Um, doesn't mean the other ones are bad. It's just that I'm, I'm not the type of customer that would interact with that uh, particular piece as much. Additionally, you have the chests that you can purchase here through the shop. Uh, they have both free-to-play currency and premium uh, purchasing as well. So as you play the game, you defeat bosses, you complete objectives, you're going to gain gems, and the gems you can use to buy silvers up through different quantities. Keep in mind, there is no efficiency, meaning there's no difference in cost whether I buy one chest at 50 gems versus buying 25 silver chests at uh, 1250 gems. So it doesn't matter. It's just like a click convenience for, you know, how many times you want to click to buy chests to spend all your gems. However, you can save up to spend 500 gems on one gold, which is the higher level of the chest. So I love that you can, uh, you can free grind these uh, for sure. Uh, additionally, you can use event currency and you can grind up and buy event chests as well, or you can pay real money for them. Uh, let's go back over here. So the difference between the silver and the gold chests, let's go back to our party right here so we can look at our gear. In my opinion, the silver chests starting out are a great value because you'll get them more often, more frequently. And while most of the gear that drops on them are going to be green and white pieces of gear, until your current roster is at least half full on gear, which there are six slots. So if you're, if the majority of your roster already has three pieces of gear, um, if, if you're getting to that four pieces per character area, I think at that point you should start switching to saving up for gold chests exclusively. Uh, that's just my opinion. If, if you guys have tips and tricks as well, or, or a viewpoint that's different and, and some, some reason behind it, please share it. I'd be happy to hear it. But uh, I perceive value in the silver chests early on when you first start the game, and then shift in the gold chest once your, your party is, is at least half uh, geared, regardless of quality. Now, once you go from the silver chest to the gold chests, you can have purples, epics, uh, drop from those chests as well. Uh, whenever a piece of gear drops that you already own, a bonus is applied to that item. Let's see if I can find you an example here. So uh, my, my Cleric Celeste has uh, a blue, a rare quality uh, set of gauntlets on. Now, because the percentile is uh, not an even amount, I know that I've picked up some of the lower quality gauntlets before, and they actually feed into the other piece of gear, increasing the quality by a small percentage. Uh, you know, it's not uh, game altering to the point where it'll break anything, but it's definitely a nice little perk bonus that you know that hey, even when I get duplicates, I'm not going to get absolutely nothing out of them. I am still getting some kind of power conversion from it. But uh, that covers your starter packs, your chests, um, how gear works in the game. Usually characters have six uh, gear slots. They have a slot that will increase their own personal damage. Uh, this one increases damage of all champions. Uh, this one increases you know, certain abilities, these two here. Uh, this will buff his ultimate attack value or, or damage it will do. And then the last item will uh, reduce the cooldown of their ultimate attack. And again, these are all being buffed by duplicate items as well. So uh, that's how itemization and monetization works in the game. As always, if you have questions, comments, concerns, share them with us. But you can see these starter packs in game uh, here, or you can see them on the Steam DLC page. Go and take a look at them there as well. 
But again, thank you very much. Anything you want to share with us, do so in the comments down below. And we'll see you all next time.